our generation by the power of your neighbor, Lord and God. Let thy glory be revealed. Let thy power be revealed in the blessed name of Jesus. We give all the glory, O God. We give all the praise, O God. Leave your environment of fear and step up into your inheritance. What God has ordained for you. That even as you get there, people will follow you because the hand of God is upon you. Let me begin to pray. At a certain point, was strangulated. Something happened. And today in our community, in our churches, in families, it is the same thing. In the book of Habakkuk, it's that they write the vision plain so that those who read it will run with it. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, many among us read it and we are not running with it. Mm -hmm. If Dr. Nkrumah, let me say it in Ghana, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, <laughs> No, we try to brothelize it. Doctor Kwame Nkrumah. He asked the person, "Where are you from?" He said, "I was born in Kumasi." <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> or born in the military. <laughs> now, with all that he has done and achieved, are we moving forward? But I believe it lies in the power of us, even in the diaspora, hmm. to do our part to advance our country. Oh, I thought somebody would clap your hands. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because after the great deliverance or salvation, the independence, we seem to be moving around the same areas economically, not ever moving forward. And so, Bible says, for the children of Israel walked 40 years. In the wilderness, till all the people who were men of war, who came out of Egypt, were consumed. Are we witnessing it? A lot of people who had great expectation. The family of Dr. Kwame Krumah, who thought that, oh, wow, we thank God, we breathe a new sight of air. Mm. They died. Mm. They died without seeing the manifestation of this great freedom and liberty. They saw in the beginning how the port was built. A custom water was built by just the dream of one man who said, we must make Ghana better. Amen. You know the interesting thing? A lot of us, we sit here today and point fingers that we are west of. Mm. How can we contribute? Activities even in the, in, among us. We're talking about building a community house where you can also go and participate. And pay lesser money because we lack the vision or we refuse to follow the vision. Hey, <laughs> me to give my money to back my city shop. <laughs> I'm sorry, you bell in the cut. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I want to eat that. <laughs> Left to me alone, never. But yet, we are prepared to take the money and give to somebody. Amen. Amen. You go to an entire community. It's an Indian community. Mm -hmm. And they are renting the houses for you. Mm -hmm. And we are happy. Mm -hmm. Pain. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. May God touch our hearts. Amen. Oh, clap your hands and say hallelujah. Amen. If there is an activity of, you know, organized in the community with all that has gone in, like today, Many will give excuse. Are you wait until evening? The funeral. They say, oh, if I drink one concord, it will make coronavirus disappear. <laughs> Why not drink the Holy Ghost so that the coronavirus Amen. will disappear? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So after all, Bible says in the book of Ephesians, do not be drunk with wine in which there is dissipation. Right. But be filled with what? The Holy Ghost. Somebody say the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Somebody say the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. So he said that. He saw that he will not show them the land which the Lord has sworn to their fathers that he will give us. A land flowing with milk and honey. Then Joshua circumcised the sons whom he raised up in their place. For they were uncircumcised because they had not been circumcised on the way. So it was when they had finished circumcising all the people, they stayed in their places in the camp till they were healed. Somebody said they were healed. They were healed. Then the Lord said to Joshua, this day I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you. Therefore, the name of the place called Gilgal to this day. Can I hear somebody shout amen? amen. Another amen. amen. The third amen. amen. Another amen. amen. Circumcision. It is simple. 
taking away the extra foreskin that is not needed, even though God put it there for a reason. So when we all circumcise our hearts, mm -hmm. circumcise the pain, mm -hmm. circumcise the backbiting, mm -hmm. circumcise the world, mm -hmm. so that that which God is looking for Amen. will stand there painting, yes. we shall get to that land. Amen. Oh, can I hear hallelujah? Yeah. Amen. 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 I like the way my friend Pastor Tony has told. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> You know, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah said something. He said, our independence is meaningless until it is linked up with the total liberation of Africa. Yeah. And we cannot do that on our own. Mm. When the Holy Ghost empowers us, mm. the love of God fills us. Mm. Beloved, we can do well. Amen. Amen. And for us over here, for some of us, it takes us ages to go back home. We are quick to punish disobedience, true or false. Yes. When somebody is disobedient, we want to be quick to punish them. But let's look at the requirements. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, there is a requirement when we decide to point fingers or punish people. Mm -hmm. That requirement is when your obedience is full. Mm -hmm. yes. Until your obedience is full, how can you go punishing somebody? Mm -hmm. That's hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, from the pulpit, from the church, well, not because I'm touching this pulpit, I'm saying here, <laughs> hallelujah, don't get me wrong. But from all of us, from leadership, every school, beloved of God, that we have to learn to be obedient Amen. to the rules, to the lay down principles. Mm -hmm. And from then on, we will be confident enough to communicate it. Mm -hmm. Do you know the reason why, you know, a top official cannot prosecute people? Because they are also in the same soup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they are They are chop some. When you leave, when we come, we make noise. Because we too will chop. Hallelujah. Amen. But we are marching forward. Hallelujah. Amen. I just like, we are marching to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion, we are marching up to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Once again, let's sing in Ghana, we are marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion. You know, despite everything we are God of peace, lift up his count upon you yeah. and give you peace yeah. now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Yes. That let's all come together and do something here in Chicago for the community so that our children and our grandchildren will benefit from it. If I get emotional, forgive me, but I think I'm right. Around. Let us just keep 5% of the money we send to Ghana to build our mansions that we will never probably live to go yes. and enjoy. Yes. To put together and build a house here in Chicago mm. so that our children and our grandchildren will benefit from it. Yes. I don't think it's too much to ask. No. I am asking the pastors to pray and continue praying for the Ghanaian community Amen. because I am confused myself. Yes. I don't know what we are doing. Yes. We have a young administration that took over after 28 years in the history of Ghana National Council. Wow. They were able to put $60,000 in three years into the account of the Ghana National Council. But to my surprise, some people in the community mm -hmm. saying that it wasn't the news that they should jump up. Oh, wow. Secondly, if they put $60,000 in the account, how much money did they put in their pockets? <laughs> Somebody even said that because they put $60,000 in their account, Let's investigate them fully so that we make sure that even one dollar, you know, didn't pass by somewhere. These are all things that is in the, in the, in the system that has to be done. Mm -hmm. But do we have any sense of appreciation at all yeah. as a community? I was responding to somebody on Facebook that said that we should give, 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 and we get our blessings. And I'm like, I used to believe that when I was a kid growing up. But now, this is what I believe. When you give, the person who you are giving to is supposed to say thank you. Yes. That is where you get your blessings mm -hmm. from. 
If you continue to look at it, it's time is from your mind. It must not suffer long from victory unto pain. Thank you.